A heat advisory is in effect for most of central Texas, including Waco Temple Colleen, and that will go through Tuesday afternoon. It goes all the way down to the Brazos Valley as well. This is where we will see heat index values above 105, and yeah, it'll be close to 100 again on Tuesday, but hopefully that's the last day as some changes are on the way. As we'll see, our rain chances go up late Tuesday going into Wednesday, 40 up to 60%, 50% on Thursday, and then slowly sliding back downhill as we head toward the weekend. But those are some of the best rain chances we've seen in quite some time here across central Texas. So let's get to our future track in the morning. This is starting off about 637 o'clock. Things will be pretty quiet around here. Could be a sprinkle or two and mostly cloudy skies to start off the day. We will break out to partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Again, that'll send temperatures up in the upper 90s to near 100. And notice by 5 o'clock, we will have some shower and thunderstorm potential approaching from the northwest. That will be moving in as we get closer to 10 o'clock. And notice we will have some pretty good potential area wide for rain chances. Now, the farther southeast you go closer to Bryan College Station, your rain chances will be lower, but those will hopefully start to go up as we head into our Wednesday as we will have more scattered showers around to start off the morning and going into the afternoon. That's keeping a lot of it south. There are other models that are wetter than this, though, so I'm going to keep that 60% chance of scattered showers and storms going right there. Let's check out how much rain we could see across the area and this is on based on the latest model guidance. If everything holds, we could see one to three inches of rain along and west of I-35 with much lower amounts as you head farther to the south and east. Now, if this stalls out a little bit, this may have to be shifted back to the northwest. If it comes a little farther to the southeast, of course, we will shift it farther south and east. So we are looking at least some rain chances. Hopefully we'll get some appreciable rain here across the area. And by Tuesday evening, we may have the potential for some gusty winds in that line of thunderstorms moving through. This is, does not look like a major severe weather event and the ground is really dry. So it's going to be hard to get flooding here, but we may get some heavier downpours. Some of those creeks may rise on us as we head into Tuesday evening. So your first alert 10 day forecast 99 close to 100 on Tuesday. Scattered thunderstorms around late in the day. 60% chance on Wednesday and look at that high of 88 degrees. 90 on Thursday we will keep it into the lower 90s Friday on into the weekend as rain chances go down. Sunday looks pretty hot. Highs will be into the middle 90s. And then we get to next week and there's more good news on the way. Temperatures in the 90s the first couple of days and then we may be talking about a stronger cold front by the middle part of next week. Keep it right here on First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.